right guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the Trophy Truck Solid Axle. Um, I took it apart a couple days ago to do some inspections on it, also to sand, sand it down and give it a new paint job. So I did that, and over the last couple days I've been, like I said, sanding it, prepping it, giving it a few coats, and then I did a couple clear coats on it. So I, I did a new, um, whole new silver on it, so it should last a little bit longer. It took a bit more time to do it this time, so... Hopefully it stays on there, but while I had it apart, I wanted to show you guys actually what it did to put it back all together and how this thing functions. So I know a lot of you had questions on that because some of you have never seen a solid axle before. So I'm just going to show you guys how this thing goes back together. So first off, um, this is the front portion of the axle. Um, you can see that this is the bottom because it's got the holes for the trailing arm mounts so uh, this part looks identical on both sides but you know this side's down because it's got these holes so when you're putting it back together you're first going to put back in your pinion gear for the differential you're going to slide that back in it's going to push all the way through and then you're going to get your bearing that goes on the top side Sometimes it's hard to get in there, especially after a couple coats of paint. Okay, so that's in there, and then you just pop. Oh, see, paint's already coming off. A few moments later. Oh my God, why is it? Two hours later. There we go, okay. And then the pinion gear comes through, and you're supposed to put a an E-clip there, but I don't know what happened to it, so I'm just going to put a washer when I'm ready to put on the drive shaft. But that's how the pinion gear goes on. It was being really difficult, sorry about that, but... Yeah, see, that's supposed to stay in there with the E-clip, but... Now I'm going to show you how the center part goes in. So this is the center of the solid axle. This is very much what makes it a solid axle. The center part is locked. It's pretty much like a locker. And it's got little grooves inside that has a flat edge. If you can see it on this little axle, it's got a flat side. And then this locks into place inside this little center locker and it has that on both sides. So once you put both sides in like that, you can't twist either one. It's all one piece. And when you get drive, from the ring gear it spins both wheels so that's pretty much how the sod axle works uh, these two axles have to be pretty strong because it's taking a lot of torque from the, the motor but I haven't had to replace those I did get um, one scuff on one of the ends so it's kinda hard to put the wheel nut on but that's the only problem I've had with these so when you're actually putting it on there's two different sides that can go. You can either put it in this way, or sorry, this way, or this way, depending on uh, which direction you want it to turn. With how I have my motor set up right now, I'm putting it on this side. So I'm just going to get the bearings all into place, and then you see, it just slides right in like that. And it all slides into place like that and it's all smooth and you just got to put a little bit of grease on these gears so it's not wearing down too much you can see it's starting to kind of sharpen up a little bit so I'm going to need to replace these soon but um for now they will be fine so just put a little bit of grease Ooh. on here I don't want to work that in. It'll slowly catch on all the gears. And then it'll be all smooth when you got it all together. Okay, yeah, that's all worked in now. So all I gotta do is put on the back cap or the, the back end of the 
axle. This side, same with the other, you gotta just match up the holes for the trailing arms on the bottom. And then this just slides right on. And then you just gotta lock it in with screws. So I'm gonna put those in real quick and I'll come back. Alright, so I got the two main screws in to keep it closed. So I'm just gonna show you uh, me putting in all the other tiny little screws that it has on here. It has just six of these uh, 1.5 screws. You really don't want to over tighten these because these would be a real pain to get out if they did strip. So I just put them in there lightly because it's really the other screws that are holding this thing together, not these little ones. These screws are tiny, it's really easy to lose these things, so it's hard to keep them all together. And once I feel the head of the screw catch, I just stop twisting so it's not over tightening at all. So like I said, these little screws, you can see they're recessed inside the axle, so there's no way to get like a Dremel sanding bit in there to get get it out with the flathead so yeah now I got those six screws in all I gotta do now is uh put on the the top piece here that mounts your top links this is actually like the heavy duty version Pull out my other one that actually broke on me. Yeah, you gotta have some long screws here because this goes through the whole, the whole top in here, and I think it threads to about there, so it's a pretty long screw. Oh, well, I was gonna show you my old one that broke on me but they did beef this up quite a bit on the replacement ones that they gave me so I'm happy with that hopefully it doesn't break but I do have the axial ones that I could use just in case so now all I gotta do is put on my trailing arm mounts and it's cool that they do you can either do it with um, this piece sort of on the inside because it's not centered you can either put it on the inside this way or this way we could put it on the other side so it's on more to the outside or put it on the inside right here. So you have a lot of different width, um, width mounting spots. I pretty much, pretty much put mine all the way on the outside. These are just M3 screws that you just screw in. It also goes all the way to the other side so it locks it in even more. Just got these threaded on. Just go to the other side. got your solid axle all put together so this is ready to mount up on the truck when I'm ready to and the trailing arms will just come in here like this and you can put a screw through there but that's pretty much it on how to reassemble a hardcore solid axle if you guys enjoyed this video and thought it was uh, informative if you liked it please thumbs up make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching